Okay, so the purpose of this video is to explain kind of how to get a website, uh, understanding how uh, websites work, how web designers and web managers and hosting and domains, how all of those things work together and what they actually are. The purpose of it is uh, to give you a benefit as to when you're dealing with a web designer or a manager or you're going to you know, add new domains or websites or anything like that, so you can understand uh, if you're getting overcharged uh, and kind of just understand how the management of things work. Because uh, a lot of times uh, designers and managers and stuff like that, uh, at least the ones that overcharge, can take advantage and charge a lot of overhead. So uh, those guys probably aren't going to like me a lot for this video. But all right, so there are four basic entities um, in web design and websites. There is a domain registrar or domain provider. There is a website host or a file host um, or a hosting provider. Uh, those are all names for the file host. And then there is a, a web manager or a technical contact that helps you uh, figure out your files and your websites and, and kind of what those different things mean. And then there's a web designer. Uh, the the guy who puts the paint on the canvas, who builds images and lays out the graphics and lays out the different things. Um, so there's four basic um, entities. Now there's some variation there. Sometimes a domain registrar is also a host. So sometimes those two services are provided by uh, the same company. Sometimes they're provided by separate companies. Uh, and also uh, the website manager um, or your technical contact uh, can oftentimes be your website designer, or um, you know, the, the, or your designer also helps you manage your website. Um, so those are the four different entities. Now I'm going to go into a little bit about what what they mean and how money flows uh, back and forth between the four uh, and some typical general cost uh, analysis. So um, your domain name provider. All that means is. That's the company that gives you a www.whatever.com.org.net. Um, they're a company that, if any of those names are available, meaning someone else hasn't already purchased them, will sell you a name. That's all it is. It's a name. It's not any space anywhere. It's not a website anywhere. It is just a name. That name uh, is typically very, very cheap. Hosting, I mean, domains uh, typically run from $5 to $15 for an entire year. Uh, now that is any unclaimed domain. If someone else has already bought it, they can sell it for however much money, so it can be much more expensive. But a brand new domain is typically $5 to $15 a year. Then there's hosting. So there's a hosting provider. What hosting is, is your actual files live somewhere on a computer. When you create your text and your images and your content and things like that, and someone goes to your website, they're actually going to files on a computer somewhere in the world. Hosting and hosting companies uh, provide that computer and they manage that that computer stays on and is available. So when someone types in your domain name, it points to those files and that's the hosting provider. Costs with them are typically monthly. There's a lot more management there because there's uploading and downloading and changing and updates and renewals. So that's where a lot of management comes into uh, into play. But you can check with uh, hosting companies now. Typically, the cost is monthly. The very lowest out there you'll see is four or five dollars a month um, for a, a very basic plan, uh, and then about eight or nine dollars a month will get you, you know, a, a deluxe plan or a plan that will be able to service any medium to small size businesses as long as you don't have several different web applications. Um, and interactive media and thousands and thousands and thousands of page views. Uh, you really don't need anything more than that. So it's relatively cheap as well. Then there's the web manager and the web designer. Now the web manager is usually a person that um, helps you manage the different uh, domains that you may have or your website hosting uh, and different things like that. Uh, he charges um, typically whatever he's paying his host or his domain provider. Uh, and then he's charging overhead, he's charging service um, for what his time is worth to manage those files and those domains. This is typically a very gray area, depending on how big your site is or, or you know, your technical contact, he can charge however much he wants. 
Um, so if you know he's paying his hosting provider ten dollars a month, he might charge you twenty or fifty or a hundred. Uh, this is where a lot of times that cost gets gray, and you want to have um, some sort of spe specificity with where that overhead and where that money is going. Um, so that's that's the website manager. Oftentimes, your website manager is also your designer. Designers, um, they are the people who create the files that go on the hosting, and that the website manager um, uploads or downloads or manipulates or changes from time to time, um, small little tweaks and things like that. The designer typically gets paid a project rate, but they also they can make that up. They can have an hourly rate, um, and they are the person who puts together all the different uh, graphics and files and different things like that. And you know they work with the client to see make sure that um, everything is to their liking. So uh, if your manager is also your uh, designer, uh, really that person has a lot of flexibility with costs. So if you're not educated on what they're doing or, or where your domains are and how much you're paying for hosting uh, a lot of those things can get very gray very quickly uh, unless you're doing uh, you know unless you're a major site and you're getting hundreds of thousands of hits a month um, that's an area where costs can skyrocket and you aren't really sure why so uh, those are the four basic entities uh, everything that I said here today there are exceptions. You can get a website that needs to have five shops on it and is secure, or has certain forms or certain elements that add to the hours and the cost. So there are little things here and there uh, that add cost and, and overhead and time and play. Um, but in general, uh, those are the that's the basic layout of things. Uh, so usually you want to get specific. It takes somewhat of a detailed mind, um, but those are some things to look out for in getting a website and finding someone who will help manage that website and design that website. Uh, typical costs for managers, um, really they can make it up, but uh, as long I try and look at it as as long as you're being fair to uh, the person that you're that you're hosting, that you're managing. Um, if you're paying X amount of dollars, are you tripling the cost or are you marking it up 30 or 40 percent? Um, and then as a designer, really, that can come down to skill and what their time is worth. And, uh, you know, if they're trading or if they're being paid in cash, uh, there's a lot of different elements to, to measure there. So that's not something I could easily, um, you know, throw a ballpark number out there as to how much a website should cost. Uh, that's something that comes down to amounts of pages and skill and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's not something I'm not even going to guess at. Uh, so hopefully this video was educational and it was of value so when you're getting a website when you're uh, looking into having a website and developing a website uh, and you need to make these different types of contacts uh, it'll be easy for you to identify where you're going to be spending money and where your money that's spent is going so thank you very much